Okay, welcome back to the shop. You just saw a minute ago the my phone, the phone case that I made yesterday. That was the project we made yesterday. Actually, you were you were looking at the phone case in a mirror because I'm it's on my phone, which you're so you couldn't so I had to paint it in a mirror. So you just saw that the project we're gonna be making today, actually. I don't know if you it'll be it's kinda hard to explain in the beginning, but it's a fast track thing where it's like a frame. You're just doing a few cross cuts for a frame. Like you're putting just maybe a pretty long, pretty thick piece. And then you're just cutting it, making like a frame, how big you want it. You're gonna cut, like use the wood we use for the bottom. And then you have a piece of cross and you cut out a slot in it. And then there you put like a, um, not a string, but like a stretchy string across. And then you can, you go like this, you pull it back with the, there's like a little chip. And then it's, or a penny, about the size of a penny. And then you just go bang, bang, and you try to get it through the slot. So we're going to build one of those today. You'll see in the thumbnail, you'll probably see the finished product. Not painted, but you'll, or stained. But you'll see that, so I, it'll look better. So let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, I have another new, uh, I have a second channel now called Antonio 50 Bello. You can go to where it says uh, about, or like when you go to my YouTube channel, you see the videos. Go to about, and then you'll see uh, featured channels. Or something like that, and then you'll see Tony and Fifty Bell. Go subscribe to that. I'm gonna be doing, I'm actually doing a second part of this video or some other videos, and you're gonna see like behind the scenes and like everything. And every video I do, you probably see a video about it behind the scenes, or say I use something in the video, I don't know, you probably see a behind the scenes about it or something like that. Like if I do a video about the ramps, maybe we'll t it'll, you'll see like a behind the scenes if you go to that channel. So subscribe to that. We'll probably be doing some other stuff on that channel too. So go subscribe to that, take a minute to do that now, and subscribe to this one if you haven't already. Oh, and we started off our project actually different today, where I don't go is, oh, here's the tools you need, this, I'm just gonna just describe it, you're just gonna need, you'll see as we go, like you're just probably gonna need like usual stuff, a saw, a tape measure, a square, obviously wood, it's like, and then if to make it, eat, and then you're gonna need a drill, but if you, you can use just you don't, like, you can do, like, maybe I'll use the scroll saw, the jigsaw, maybe. You could just use a hand saw, so, so it's something like that. I don't even know if I have the wood for the perimeter. I'm looking at the wood that I have, but it's mostly pine 2 by 4s and then just sheet, like, sheets of wood for, for scroll saw stuff. I don't really have much of that stuff, because I've got, like, all kinds of pine, and, like, you could see this one right here, but I don't have any wood that I, like, for the outer perimeter of the frame... I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'll have to keep looking. What I was thinking for the outer perimeter is this type of wood. It's not, it's just, I was thinking about that, but I don't have any big strips of it. So I got to keep looking. Okay, I found a few sheets of these, but I don't know. Maybe I could just cut it, but then it wouldn't be as big as I wanted it to. I'm working on the dimensions of it. Okay, I decided on some dimensions. I'm going to do 14 inches, which is 1 foot 2 by 8 inches. If I do that, 8 inches like across like this, and then wide is 1 foot 2, so that's 14 inches. So I'm going to try to do those dimensions, and I found some of these, which I'm going to cut down, and I think maybe either I'll lay them flat like this or like that, uh, but that's the only stuff I have, so I'll have to see what I can do with that. I decided just to lay them down flat on the board, and then so that's what I'm going to do. First thing in a project, you got to cut down the the boards where you're using to one foot two. Uh, you could choose your own dimensions, but I'm doing one foot two, which is 14 inches. So that's the first thing you have to do. And then once you cut the two pieces to to one foot two, then you got to do eight inches. And then after you do eight inches, then you're gonna what you're gonna do? Is you're gonna lay them like, like this on top of each other, and then you're gonna slide your the wood that you're using for the base under here. So then it's like this. And then this is the board that you're using, but you see what I mean? You could choose your own boards, anything you in your own dimensions. I'm just using what I have here. This project, I recommend if this is going to be one of your first projects, this not be because this is more complicated and you kind of have to choose your own dimensions. So go, if you want to do a first project, then go watch the last I think, three videos that I made. Okay, so I cut the pieces. Now it looks like this. But actually, I changed the measurements. Now I'm doing 11, but actually it just looks better. Or if I was doing 8 inches, I'd have to go right along the edge. But, and I thought about it. The joinery that I could have used is go like this to make it. Like, and then I have the other pieces. But that kind of joinery, we're going to attach it. It's thin, too thin of a wood to use pocket screws, and I don't have the pocket or jig. So, why well, don't I just stack it? But then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the board that I'm using for the underneath and then just go like that under it 
and then so I changed the inches so what I'm gonna do there's you I was gonna do it like a picture frame where you know how it's angled like this like the 45 but that would take too long and it, it I don't know it would have probably messed it up so I'm just gonna do it like like that so that's all you have to do to it and then slide your other piece under this might not work with all types of wood by the way so this project don't follow the exact instructions this is just the general area because maybe you want to use different type of joinery or and then my boards are all to a certain measurement so then it slides under so this i do not recommend this for your first project so you're gonna have to like make your own plans this is just an idea and then me doing it so watch my other videos the phone case i think is a good beginner project you only need like you only you don't even need a, any corded machines you just just a drill you could use so tic-tac-toe that's easy and then the other one i did uh that, the tape one that was really easy that's the best project and you don't need any power tools at all so but so so let's i'm just gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna glue these put the board underneath it cut it and then i'm just gonna put the piece in the middle all right so i i created that but now i just gotta file the other ends because I put nails instead of glue because I don't feel like waiting for the glue to dry so I made that I'm going to put the bottom in just going to slide that in and then I'm just going to make this piece and then we're done so all the nails that were sticking out here to put this through I grinded them down real nice and now they're flush with the surface now I can just go on to adding this thin board like right underneath like that now I cut the inside square and I'm going to cut it out with my air, uh, jigsaw or aerosol. I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to slide in the inside of that and then I'm done. Or I got to make the part that they go through. Okay, so I cut this out and then it should fit in here. It doesn't fit. <laughs> okay, it's going to fit. I just got to sand it a little bit, but yeah, it'll work. And then I got to make the centerpiece and then it will be done. Look at that fits right in place then I gotta secure it firmly but now it'll work really good this should be a little higher than the edge but I'm gonna work on that almost finished I had a little trouble with the sides and I'll show you when it's done what I did was I cut two pieces for the top so now it's now when I put this piece in it'll be nice and it'll re risen up a little bit now, if you take a look, now it's risen above the surface. Now it's just, there's wall to wall. And then I got to put something in the middle. Cut a little slot out of that. Put two two like little wires here, and then I can. It's like a little fast track. Okay, I finished up nailing in the side wall, so now it's perfect. All right, so I finished nailing the sense. So now it's. I just gotta work on the base, but now it's got a frame. Let me put it in. But yeah. Now everything is nailed in, so now there's like a little indent here, so so, they can, so nothing goes out. Everything is nailed in the back, nothing is sharp, it's all that. If you wanna make one of these, I suggest it's kinda hard. So I, I suggest if you really want to make one of these, go online and search them up or go, just go buy one and then copy the plans off that. They're called the Fast Tracks. And you can probably just search them up online and then kind of copy that. This is kind of harder. That's why I'm having a little bit of trouble. But it still will come out. Now i got to put the piece here. Okay. So, all right. So I just finished grinding this. Now, now this is hooked on. Now I just got to add the strings. Okay, so finishing, I just, I'm going to put the strings on later, and then tomorrow I'll show you exactly how I did it. But you see that groove there? And then you just, just, like, put the, there's like a pen here, like a rubber band. You go like this, and then boom, goes through, and you got to try to get it through here. So, that's the final product. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Go check out my other channel and subscribe to that. Thank you for watching.